Has Sagem fallen from grace? You know, one thing that I've heard a lot is, Sagem, why aren't you a CPT commentator anymore? I never see you do any Street Fighter. I do Dragon Ball, Combo Breaker, <clears throat> and CEO, and all of a sudden, people are like, are you going to commentate Street Fighter again, ever? Are, have you just left Street Fighter? Are you just never going to do it again? <clears throat> it's just two events. Everybody relax. Everybody keep it together. It's going to be okay. I miss the old Sage I miss the old Sage M. Seg from the soul, Sage M. Crushed. Yeah, I don't think... I think that can was slightly plus, probably, right? Maybe slightly. I, I think you don't you don't want to hit a button here. So, crush uh, on the back dash. Is it hard to break out as a commentator in SoCal? I did it. Never doubt... Never doubt your ability to break into anything with enough hard work. And being good at something, you can do it. Yeah, nice hands here. I think jumping after Cammy throws you is worth testing sometimes, right? Because sometimes Cammy players get a little antsy. Mr. West. Oh. Yep, nice neutral jump. It's one thing about birdie. A lot of a lot of birdie players historically, I feel like, have always had success against Cammy, and I think it's due to the strong ground game of this character. And solid anti-airs, even against Dive Kick, which is not that many characters can do. God damn fierce. What is, what is Mongo going to do? Whiff Punish with Drill or something? Nice. That was a really, really strong read. That was a good read. Yeah, let them know I'm dynamic. I mean, I, I do a Tekken show every single Tuesday. I commentate Street Fighter on my stream. I do Dragon Ball. I do Injustice. I play Guilty Gear. I play everything. Like that's the one the one perception I think that is weak in fighting games is that you should only focus or play one game. That's so whack. I can't imagine it. Uppercut and then he buffers standing medium punch into drill. He knows he's gonna wake up with something, right? Yeah, dude, I've been playing a lot of uh I've been playing a lot of KI lately actually. I was learning Eagle. I was learning Eagle before Combo Breaker, actually, because I knew that would be important. Nice punish. Nice. That was clean. Oh, my God. It's a good dash forward. He, I don't know if he could have comboed. That was so high up. Bullhorn trade. You got to watch. <gasps> That's a punish. Yeah. I don't even know if that was intentional or not from Mena. I feel like, to me, was that an, was that an on-purpose command throw? I feel like he walked back, walked forward, and I thought he tried to bullhead. And he just got command throw? I don't know. Maybe he did it on purpose to build a little meter. It's hard, though. The roof recovery is so long. Jenga. I commentate a lot of things. Punish. Oh, no. That was not a big punish. I wonder if reversal command throw would have been better. Nice. I have a code for Pocket Fighter. I'm going to check it out. I have a switch, so I'll do that. Yeah, the best, the best, one of the best grounded tools Cammy has in this matchup. Whoops. Buffer, standing medium punch, right? This is one of the best buttons she has to, to counter poke. Because it's really, it's kind of hard for her to just whiff punish Birdie. You have to just kind of guess with standing medium punch. He's one of those characters, right? Wow, his anterior uppercuts have been crazy. All right, so one mix-up kills here. Like, a throw won't kill you, so you just eat the throw probably, right? Oh, oh my god, he could have died. Jumping strong. Look at how low to the ground this button hits. Right? Jumping strong hits so early that it, it just... It's so easy to punish buttons like whiff standing medium punch. Akuma. RE4 Nationals. You know what I want to play? Man, I've been wanting to play Hitman since Ringe recommended it to me, and now I see Aeris playing it. I'm like, man. Oh, that's Punish. Oh, no. All right, we'll kill him for it. 
She takes the V skill build. Melty Blood. Who did I play in Melty Blood? I don't remember his name. The guy that has the deer. Uppercut. Man, look at him. He's his anti airs are super on point. Nice. And that's stun. He's uh he's alive, right? Even with the target combo. <gasps> that did mad damage. Nero, yes. Chaos, is that his name? Plus frames, yeah, I like the jump back. He did a delayed jump back. It's a pretty, delayed jump back's not a bad defensive option in this game. Beats shimmy attempts, beats the throw. That was a plus dive kick, I'm pretty sure. Counter hit. Boom, take the corner carry. Respected the uppercut. That could have been a combo, nice. I think with double roundhouse, you build two bars here, or build one bar here. Oh, and he could have killed. Right? I'm pretty sure he could have killed. You'll take that trade. He had to spend bar for it, but... This could be real bad. Oh, no. He's dead. Uh, not spending that bar was so huge, right? He just gave the opportunity for Mago to come back. And when somebody has a pixel in a game like this, you have to commit so much more because of the lack of chip, right? You have to commit so much to hit them, and they just need to hit you once with all that bar. Like, yeah, they just need to hit you once. Damn, 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 damn. That one choice not to spend bar, right? One situation where you're like, you know, I don't need to spend those resources. And just get smoked. It'd be like that sometimes. Sometimes it'd be like that.